What's up, family? Now my news. Your boy Larry Maguire on air. But yeah, this is a response to uh, a YouTuber by the name of uh, Collab B. And his video was called Obama's Second Coming. Behold. All right. In that video, he was explaining about how Obama, you know, could be the Antichrist. And you know, he's explaining how Trump could be the Antichrist. And, you know, different opinion. Well, I just wanted to give my opinion. And what I think is actually that uh, I think that Donald Trump, he has uh, he has Zionists in his uh, cabinet. You know, and then you look at Obama. Obama, he had Jesuits uh, in his cabinet. And you know that most of the CIA are Jesuits, you know. That's Catholic, you know. That's um, That was the order of Jesus, uh, like a secret society of Jesus that was that was started in like the 1500s or something like that. But I'll put the information up. But anyway, what that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that uh, Trump, in his administration, they are Zionists or represent the Zionists, and that's a a split between the Illuminati. Because if you look at Illuminati, you got two sides. Well, mo probably more than two sides. But what I'm noticing in in this particular incident right here is two sides of the Illuminati playing off as if they are conflicting. You get what I'm saying? Like another divide and conquer scenario. But what it looked like to me is you got the um, Jesuits and the Zionists using uh the political left and right, you know, as puppets. You got the Jesuits using the left, and you got the Zionists using the right. Goldsman and Sachs, uh, J.P. Morgan, a bunch of those are on the right, you know, with the Zionists. And then you look to the left, you know, you got the Catholic Church, uh, pedophile ring going on with the left. Uh, you just look at the similarities, uh, rituals, uh, satanic rituals, you look at the left, uh, uh, as far as with the uh, Podesta emails, you'll see the uh, spirit cooking, and that's part of like a, that's a ritual. And you look at most of the celebrities, they do the, you know, the 666 cover the eyes and all that stuff they do, you know, the, you see the symbolism. And that's mostly left. So the left more um, satanic, satanic, I'm sorry. And the right is more money team. You know, money. Still satanic, but more of money on the money. You know, because uh, you know that the the Jews that's over in Israel, um, they're the Russian. They're the Russians. That's they're the Russians behind the uh, election. If you want to talk about Putin, why don't you talk about the Kazarian mafia? You know, the the Jews that's in uh Israel right now. They're not Jews. They're not from there. They're from Russia. So they're those Zionists, that's the Russian. That's Russian, you know. No, I'm just speaking on what I've researched. And I know that the Gazari Mafia is a part of, uh, you know, that's part of Trump's cabinet. A lot of uh, Donald Trump cabinet is Kazarians, but probably besides Pence. I think Pence is a Jesuit. You know what I'm saying? Pence seems to me to be a, a Jesuit. So he has a Jesuit as vice president. So if he was to get assassinated, then it's back to the the Jesuits, you know. They got they got people over in the right, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, you, I'm looking at that, and, but I'm looking at uh, his his back Trump backers were were uh, the Rock, the Rothschilds <laughs> and and stuff like that. And then you look on the left, their backers Hillary Clinton backers was George Soros, and George Soros is a a, a he's a banker. You know he's a uh, he's a Nazi collaborator. You know he's a he's a uh, Kazarian Russian. You know what I'm saying he's a Jew, but he's on the opposite side. Like he he seems like he split. Like he has a conflict with the others, with the Rothschilds and with the Rockefellers. There's some kind of conflict that's going on at the top. You know this is the top top. Not this is above Obama. You know, you know I'm going to the Rothschilds and George Soros. These are the Illuminati elites. You know what I'm saying? And there's probably people over them. But these families, the Soros and the Rothschilds and the Rockefeller family, all of these families, these families are the controllers of the world. 
You know, they control the media. You know, they control uh, just about damn near everything. And those guys are Zionists. Now, you look at the, the Jesuits or the Catholics, they run religion. You know, the Catholics, the Roman Catholics are kind of, back. if you look back in the day, they were ruling over the, the Zionists or the, the Jews. They were, they were ruling over them. And the Jews, ex they, the Jews was the ones that got Jesus executed. You know, they, they wanted Jesus executed, and the Romans went on with the execution because of the Jewish people. They wanted them executed. So it's the, it's the same people that's running right now. Like, see, the, the Jesuits are the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? And the, the Jews are the Khazarian, you know, synagogue of Satan. So you got the Roman Empire versus the synagogue of Satan. You know what I'm saying? It's two evils. Trump represents the synagogue of Satan. You see him do this every time, you know, and you got Hillary represent the Luciferians, the Jesuits, you know, the fake Jesuits, the fake Catholics, the ones that really worship Satan, but they, they, they act as if they protect and or a part of some type of secret order for Jesus Christ. But in, in the order, if you look at it, these people executed Jesus Christ according to the Bible, according to religion. They executed their Messiah. The Zionists don't believe that the Messiah was here. They don't believe that that was the Messiah. That's why they got him killed. They celebrate the death of Jesus. So that's why people call him the synagogue of Satan. You know, so that's, that's what I see in a nutshell, basically. You know, I see higher powers controlling the political parties. You know, uh, you got the, I can say it over and over again, the Zionists on the right, I mean the left, and then you got the, I mean, yeah, the Zionists on the right, and then you got the, the Jesuits on the left. That's what's going on. So, I, that's what I see. And I hope y'all see it. And all we could do is just sit back and watch and see which devil going to do the best work because we don't have nothing to choose no we did we had two devils to choose from you know what i'm saying at the end of the day trump he he played he played the globalist card far as like i'm going against the globalist but then when he got in he put globalists in his in his cabinet but then you hear people like alex jones saying that well we know he need to if you invade a ship and you can't pilot the ship and the pilot that you happen to get to man the ship is the same pilots that were there before but they pushing your agenda what's wrong with that but what's wrong with that is when you put too many of the same crew that was previously in and you slip yourself around this crew they might can get you out of there they might can make something happen to you so that's the problem you know and as far as all, I, Trump being an antichrist he might be a little more than an antichrist you know if we keep watching, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say he is. I said he might be. The reason why I said the big might, because he keep throwing a 666. And that's that's really questionable with me. And I voted for Donald Trump. I didn't catch that until after I voted. I started, my eyes started open. I'm like, oh, damn, I made it. You know what I'm saying? But even if I didn't vote for Donald Trump, he still was going to win. You know what I'm saying? Because people were tired of the same politics, the same lies. And, and if by definition... Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So that's what we were doing, voting for Hillary Clinton this time around. We was actually trying to get different results, <laughs> doing the same thing, getting the same Democrats, the same people that have been around for 30, 40 years and expecting the change. And that's what that's what kind of got us. And the, the elite knew all of this that's why it, it, it it's kind of seemed like a puppet show like the whole thing was a show like a it was like like the super bowl and it felt like that they advertised it just like the super bowl if you look you know just look back at the debates it was advertised like a like a like kind of like a coliseum event like like the romans do you know that's why they have the super bowl because it's like the coliseum and you have warriors fighting to the death you know what i'm saying so it's the same thing because it takes the, that male energy that we have that we could be using for positive things and it takes us and we waste it on, you know, uh, watching these uh, 
sweaty guys hurt each other. You know what I mean? Just like back in the Roman Empire days, they used to watch sweaty guys kill each other. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. So, yeah, I'm going to just leave y'all on that. And I ain't going to have a super long, you know, one on this one. And it's just, it's plain, it's plain. You can, you can see it once you start studying, um, start studying a little bit more, you can see what's going on. And that's what's actually going on above the presidents and above the politics. It's the globalist elite still playing us. And they're using uh, agents, you know, to, to carry out their missions. Like, as far as, like, uh, different uh, YouTubers, some of those guys are agents, you know what I mean? Because they won't tell you fully what's going on. They only tell you what they want you to know, the left and right. You get what I'm saying? They only tell you what they want you to know. That's why I stay independent, and I just vote for whoever is sounding right to me. And Donald Trump at the time was sounding right to me, so I voted for him. And he's still sounding right. He's still doing good things. So that's why I never will dismiss the fact that him and Alex Jones could be Illuminati sleepers. To meaning like they're really patriots posing as Illuminati. And as soon as they got their agenda uh, done, they patriotism overrid their Illuminatiism. <laughs> if you get what I'm trying to say, like they, they, they were sleepers. You get what I'm saying? Like they might have got in and now they're pushing, the, they're trying to go against the grain on both sides. I ain't going to say they, I'm going to say Donald Trump. Because Alex Jones is like an advisor a little bit. As far as like, you know, he'd be getting kind of intel, suspicious intel before everybody else. But I'm not going to say he's an agent. I don't know what he is. But anyway, yeah, that's what I see. They may be some type of, I don't know, maybe they're anti-Illuminati. Because they do talk about the globalists a lot. But that's what I would do. If I was a criminal, I would talk about other, I would try to make you think otherwise. You get what I'm saying? So... That's what I see, you know, you know, you got to think about that. So I'm going to try to bring y'all some more content. Make sure y'all subscribe and uh, follow Not My News. And if it's some reporters out there that want to get down, some people, some online reporters, some YouTubers that want to get down, let's make this thing grow. Peace.